is going on guys uh so we got another uh week three prediction video um but we're going to talk about the injuries and all the craziness is going on in the nfl we're going to talk about that stuff and then we're going to get right into the right into the predictions if you want to skip right to the predictions i'll leave the prediction uh time stamp right on the screen so so justin fields came out and made some comments um, about his coaching staff and how it might be coaching, um, and you know those type of things. The whole the whole video, he takes more accountability than the tabloids and them, and all the sports media took and ran with it. He took more responsibility than they let on. So, do I think it's him? Yes, I think ultimately it comes down to him. Like I said in the community post. A couple of days ago, ultimately, you just got to say, screw it and just be the guy that we all know you can be. Just be the superstar we know you can be. Yeah, I know we want to be playing the offense and we want to do that and do that. But at some point, you just have to be the guy that they drafted other than the offense. You know, now you didn't get drafted into a great situation. I don't know who would really be successful in that situation, but if you're that great, you have to prove it. Because the NFL is moving on, you know? So, yeah, uh, it's, that situation is just crazy. And I feel bad for Justin Fields because it kind of feels like he doesn't even have a chance to be successful there. And he wanted, he didn't want to be there. He did everything in his power to try to get traded this summer. But they they kept him. So, And so just like literally maybe an hour before I started recording, it came out that Trayvon Diggs – Tore his ACL, and he's out for the whole season. Now, do I think that's a big deal? Of course. Dallas's best corner, one of his best corners, but they do have Stephon Gilmore there as well. So, is it horrible? It's terrible, right? But I don't think it. I don't think it really like puts their season at a detriment, right? As we're getting to it, they play the Cardinals this week, so I don't expect them to need him yet. But going down the stretch when they got to play Philly and all the other big dogs, it's going to get real, real tough. But I think I think they'll be able to rebound. Their defense is so good. Michael Parsons is so good that I don't think they – I'm not going to say they won't miss him, but I will say it won't be that big of a hit as we initially think it will be. Now, only time will tell if it will be that big of a hit for real. But needless to say, it's a terrible, terrible loss. And it's just always something going on in Big D, man. It's just always something going on. And so, let's get into the predictions. Um, so, we're going to start tonight with New York against San Fran. Um, I got San Francisco winning. For one, San Francisco is really good. And New York just came off that huge win, that comeback win. And I think they're going to kind of have a letdown. They're not that good. And they lost Saquon Barkley. So he's hobbled around and whatnot. So I think San Fran will win this, and this will be over by probably the first half. Tennessee and the Browns. The Browns need this win for other reasons. Like I said in my video after the Monday night game, we got to see if Deshaun is going to ever be Deshaun again. And this is a tough situation to be in because Tennessee is one of the best in the league. So, But I'm going to pick the Browns one last week. They've let me down the last couple weeks, but I'm going to pick the Browns just simply off the fact that I like Deshaun. And happy belated birthday to Deshaun as well. Atlanta and the Lions. Atlanta is not, is not as bad as we thought they was, and the Lions are the Lions. I, I guess not. Let me not disrespect them like that. The Lions are pretty good. They're pretty good. They lost a hard one against Seattle last week. So I'm going to go with the Lions. This might be my last week picking the Lions as well. So I'm going to go with the Lions. New Orleans and Green Bay, I expect Green Bay to bounce back. They learned a lot last week. I expect them to close this game. Denver and Miami, it's going to be over real quick. And this might be the end of this might be the end of Russ as a starter. I hate to even say that, but I think Miami is going to going to really do bad things to them. Um, the Chargers and the Vikings. I think the Vikings are sick of being disrespected. And I think the Chargers are going to be the Chargers. So I'm going to um, pick the Vikings in a close one. New England and the Jets. New England going to blow them out as they always do. Bills and Washington. Uh, I think Josh Allen is going to be stupid. But I think ultimately they're going to get the win. 
Houston and Jacksonville, I think Houston is going to make it tough on them. But ultimately, Jacksonville has the more has more talent. They're going to win. Indy and Baltimore. Um, I really hope Lamar has another game like he did last week. Because, you know, people are just waiting to say, oh, that was a fluke and that was that. That was that. But I do think Indy is more talented. But with Gardner Minshew as their starter, which is, I'm assuming he's going to be the starter, he's not going to be able to go blow for blow with Lamar. So I got this game and probably not a blowout, but it won't be. The game will be well in doubt by mid third quarter. Won't be well in doubt by mid third quarter. Carolina and Seattle. I, I just don't know what's going on in Carolina. I feel bad for Bryce Young. Now, granted, Bryce Young ain't looking very good either. But he's kind of like in a bear situation where there's nothing there. But I'm going to pick Seattle, best off the organization. and I think they know more of what they're doing. Bears in Kansas City, I ain't even got to say who I'm picking Kansas City. The game going to be over in, uh, at the end of the first quarter. Dallas and Arizona, the same way it's going to be over at the end of the first quarter. Pittsburgh and Vegas. I think this game, I'm not, I don't really, I don't like pick, picking this and saying this, but this game might go into overtime. Neither team, you know what, I changed that. You know what, I changed that. Pittsburgh got right. I'm going to pick Pittsburgh got right. Just that defense is ferocious. Philadelphia and Tampa, it's going to be closer than it needs to be because Philadelphia is not Philadelphia from last year. It's going to be closer than it needs to be, but I think Philly's going to win. And then the Rams and Cincinnati. If Joe Burrow plays, I'm going with um, Cincinnati. If Joe Burrow does not play, I'm going to go with the Rams. So, that's you might like keep your heads in your bets. Yes. Yes, I am. <clears throat> so, Cincinnati if uh, Burrow plays. Rams if Burrow doesn't play. So, um, I went 10, 10 of 16 last week. Not too bad. That leaves my regular season total. At 50%, 16 to 32. And I'm looking pretty good. Hopefully, I can uh, get to the 70 percentile in uh, in this series. It's going to be a long season. But thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good Thursday. Enjoy football.